to add your decal to the mug, first thing we're going to do is we are going to click this surface. We're going to hold shift and also click the surface below it. This will make it so that my decal can go anywhere on this mug, not just in the top half or the bottom half, but both. As I go over to my uh, appearance manager, sorry, I didn't, and, uh, and then I go to decals. I am going to add a, I'm doing this wrong. Sorry, I did not go to my, turn on my render tools and add the decal. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hit browse, go to wherever it is. I saved my image and I'm going to select it. When I click open, it will wrap it around it. You will likely see it as having a black background currently. This is the setting you have to change. Under where it says mask image, the very last one says use decal image alpha channel. Click this. That should remove the background. You saw there was a small change where this was previously black, okay, and it is no longer. When I go to mapping, I can now shift where. I can change the angle if I need to. I can expand it or contract it. I'm going to make mine a little smaller. I'm going to grab the origin and swing it around a little bit to put it here. I'm actually going to go ahead and look at the front view. So I can swing it around on the front view. I'll also be able to enlarge it. and put the decal on my mug. I've got a lot of changes here. If I need to distort mine, because mine wrapping around the mug looks too short. So I'm gonna uncheck fixed aspect ratio. So now I should be able to grab the top and make it taller. I can go back to my rotate because I accidentally rotated it before. and put it back to the rotation. Where it was. As well as crunch this together and position it where I want to. Once it's all done, I can hit accept. At which point I can also go back to looking at it isometrically the decal tool should wrap it around your object. And also, as it comes down onto this one, it's going to follow the complex curvature and wrap it down this way as well. That is how you should put a decal on your mug. In addition to that, I am going to edit the appearance. I am going to look at appearances. I don't believe, yeah, not exactly glass is not what we're looking for. However, when a lot of these are finished, I don't really see a, I don't really see a ceramic option. So what I would suggest is Go ahead and use the plastic options, okay? And use the glass or high gloss plastic options. And then once you've done so, you can also change your view. Because for mine, I would pick more of the maroon color out of mine, out of the logo. This can be also where I stop and have my decorated coffee mug. 